Hello everyone and welcome back to Yankee Dabbler where of course every day is a train show and today we're going to be taking a look at some brand new items that hopefully will be finding their way on your layout. We're going to get started with something we already looked at before but we got some new variations coming in so let's check out these puppies. These are these Repito E8s that we took a look at a little bit while ago and these were great looking diesel locomotives. And the ones they have on display here are ones that are actually exclusives from Heartland Distributors. And what's really neat about these is they came out with six different paint schemes that add on to the original run that Rapido did. So I had the Rock Island, which is a really neat one I have here. I had the Erie, Milwaukee Road, a Southern, a Pennsylvania, and this really striking looking one here. I had the New York Central Jade Green color. And I really enjoyed that one. I think that is a really striking looking diesel locomotive. Now, I'm not going to go too much into review with these because I already discussed these in a previous video. But I want to let you know that these exclusives from Heartland are selling here. Well, the, rather, they retail for $356.95. But we're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $329.99. So these are really great looking diesel locomotives. As a matter of fact, this Milwaukee Road that I have right here is actually available in an AB uh, set as well. And both of those are powered engines, and they sell for $629.99. So, these are really high-quality diesel locomotives. If you want to see the full review that we did of these, check out one of our previous videos. You can see all the neat features that are inside of here. I think you're really going to enjoy them. And just for fun, let's run this Jay Green around just so you get a little taste of what these engines have to offer. So I think these are great diesel locomotives to get on your layout. So come to Yankee Dabbler and get this E8 pulling trains on your railroad today. We got some exciting new tank cars for end scalers to take a look at. So let's check out these new products offerings from Atlas. So these are the brand new Kaolin or Clay Slurry tank cars here from Atlas. And I have a whole bunch of different road names to go along with these. And I have multiple different road numbers as well with these cars. So if you want to create a nice long tank car train, you absolutely can do that. Now, these are really nicely detailed cars here. My particular favorite one, for those of you who know me, of course, you know I love color on my railroad. I think that blue one is really striking looking. Now, these cars are really nicely designed. They're really nicely detailed. And the price is pretty good, too. They retail for $32.95, but we're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $22.99. It's an awesome deal to get on these cars, and if you need some tank cars, look no further than these guys right here. All right, so as they said, these are uh, selling here at Yankee Dabbler for $22.99. Let's check out the underbody of this thing real quick. As you can see, all the detail that goes in there. I like the fact that there's brown wheels on this car as well. I'll do what Engineer Hall does. There's the A side. There's the B side. Maybe I got flipped around. But whatever side it is, these are really nice looking cars. And I think you definitely need these uh, tank cars on your railroad today. So come to Yankee Dabbler and get some Carolyn Clay Slurry tank cars. All right, so we got one of my favorite steam locomotives to look at. And, of course, we're going to be going to the New York Central, if you notice I wore that intentionally today. Because we have here one of the coolest steam locomotives that I think you're going to see on this show. Of course, I'm talking about the 464 Hudson the Commodore Vanderbilt. Let's check out this engine from Broadway Limited. So what I have here is the Commodore Vanderbilt from Broadway Limited. Of course, this is a 464 Hudson. Actually, this is a J1E Hudson. What the New York Central did in the 1930s is they actually started streamlining their, their steam locomotives, rather, to make them look more streak and elegant. 
railroads. Well, a lot of railroads did at the time there. And this was kind of the first iteration of that. They put this sheet metal around this engine, give it a more streamlined approach, and they called it the Commodore Vanderbilt. Now, they named it the Commodore Vanderbilt after Cornelius Vanderbilt, one of the railroad's first presidents. And this is just a really great looking steam locomotive. If you're interested in American railroading history, steam history, or you just like something that looks very interesting and different, I definitely think this is an engine for you to check out. I'm very excited to hear what this engine sounds like and looks like in action, so let's get it started. All right, so let's take a listen to what the bell sounds like. Cool. Let's take a listen to the whistle. Cool. If you notice, it's even starting to smoke up here. You can see some of the smoke going out of the smokestack. And one neat feature about this is if you take a look inside the cab, you see that there are crew figures inside of it, and they are lit up. Very neat. Well, let's get this engine fired up. All aboard. Back her up. Let's highball it. Are we going? Arriving on track number one, train number 5344, the Commodore Vanderbilt. So that is a really cool steam locomotive. If you're looking for something, as I said, something a little bit different, if you're a New York Central fan, if you're a fan of history of steam railroading or streamlining era or whatever, I definitely think you need this Commodore Vanderbilt operating on your rails today. Die cast metal body construction. It is just a really nicely done de engine. I think you definitely need it. Now, the retail value of this steam locomotive is $599.99, but we're selling here a Yankee Dabbler for $479.99. So, really good deal to get on a very nice quality steam locomotive. You know me, I love my steam engines, and New York Central is one of my favorite. So, I think you definitely need the Commodore pulling trains when you're railroad today. For our end scalers, if you're looking for some Multimax auto racks, we get you covered here from scale trains. We're gonna take a look at some really neat, high quality end scale auto racks for you to look at. The Multimax auto racks from scale trains, and for you end scale folks, if you're looking for a really nice, high quality end scale auto rack to put on your railroad, look no further than these. I have a bunch of different row names, and just like uh, previous cars here, I have a bunch of different numbers as well. So if you really like that UP, 
but you want to get a whole bunch of different Union Pacific with different numbers, if you could see that small, we got you covered. We got some really neat versions and iterations of these cars. Of course, you can make a nice unit train with Norfolk Southern or Kansas City Southern, or you could just mix them up like I like to do and have a whole bunch of different, kind of like what you have on the real railroads today. Now these auto racks that we have here sell for $55.99, but we're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $44.99. These are really nice, high quality, detailed cars. We're gonna go in for a closer inspection. So I got one of those Norfolk Southerns here. This is a CTTX. If you take a look closer at these cars, I'll wait for the camera to focus here. But as you can see, I have a whole bunch of different detailing here with the different panelings, all the different rivets. I love all the extra, you know, the cut bar. You got all these different detailings here. And even on the bottom of the car, these cars look great. So if you're trained derails, I guess you can see, oh, look at all the detailing there. But hopefully that doesn't happen on your rear road. Now these cars, as I said, are, uh, we have a whole bunch of different road names, a whole bunch of different road numbers. They're selling them for $44.99. If you're a fan of these multi-level uh, auto racks or you're a scale trains fan, you want to get something more modern on your railroad, get these cars today because I really think you're going to enjoy them. It has metal wheels too, so that's always a plus for me. So come to Yankee Dabbler, watch supplies live. We got one final diesel locomotive to share with you, and this is once again from scale trains. So of course, we're going to be talking about the GP30s that we just got in. I think you're really going to enjoy these, so let's check them out. So I have here these GP30s from Scale Trains, and these are just some of the most beautiful and highly detailed diesel locomotives I've seen from Scale Trains. Now I'm not just saying that because we're trying to sell them. I think these are actually really nice, high quality diesel locomotives. As you can see, this Pennsylvania has the antenna detailing on there. That is just a really striking design there. I have here the Chicago and Northwestern, another great looking design here. My personal favorite of the group here is the Rio Grande. If you take a look at all the detail that goes into this engine, I just love the way that this engine looks here. This is a great looking paint scheme here. And I think you definitely need one, two, or 63 of those on your layout. I have here the Norfolk and Western. I love that design of that bell up there. That is just a great look. And then I have the CSX Slug. Now in real life, this is an engine that did not have a prime mover. It kind of got hooked up with other engines, but it is a great look nonetheless. And then for my only AB pairing of the group, of course they are sold separately. So if you're only interested in the A, you can do that. But I have the Union Pacific here and I got the B on it. I think they look great as a pair there. You can put those guys together and you got a really neat looking set. Now, if you're a fan of GP30s or some of these railroads, I think you definitely need these engines pulling trains today, especially that Rio Grande. But of course, everyone around here, the South Jersey area loves the Pennsylvania Railroad. I think you need these engines today. They're awesome. All right, and I actually have another one here that I didn't bring out because I already brought out a lot, but this is another Union Pacific option. This is actually from the Nevada Railroad Museum. This is the 844. This is actually the engine that the 844 FES steam locomotive was renumbered when the Union Pacific get it the right size when you pacific actually got uh, this engine on the railroad they actually renamed the a44 to the 8444 so they wouldn't have two a44s on their roster so if you're interested in the diesel version of the a44 we have that available for you as well all right so speaking of the union pacific i think those ab's look really striking so let's pull them on the railroad all aboard okay so i got this union pacific on the tracks let's fire her up Take a listen to the horn. The bell. And the way we go.
Now arriving on track one, train number 812, skill train GP30. Awesome. So those are great sounding diesel locomotives, and I think everybody needs a GP30 on the roster. Now, these diesel locomotives retail for $361.99, but we're selling them here in Yankee Dabbler for $279.99. So it's a great deal to get on these engines here. Again, I just absolutely love the detailing on these engines, and I know you will too. So come into Yankee Dabbler and get these rolling on your rails today. Eagers. Okay, so let's take a look at all the things that we saw today. So we saw these custom runs of these E8s from Rapido. Some really great looking designs there. From Broadway Limited, we saw the Commodore Vanderbilt, one of the coolest steam engines we've seen in a long time. We've had here from Scale Trades, we had all these GP30s. And these just look great. We have from Atlas, we had these tank cars that we took a look at. Bunch of different road names and numbers there. And then continuing with N Scale Land, we had from Scale Trains again, we had these auto racks that we took a look at. And once again, a whole bunch of different names and numbers to go along with these cars.